Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do the detailed camera review of the POCO F1. So POCO F1 is the latest flagship device and also the first smartphone from uh, Xiaomi sub-brand uh, POCO in India. So POCO F1 comes with Snapdragon 845 Octa-Core chipset and really great hardware and liquid cooling technologies uh, which makes uh, excellent thermal performance. Now talk, coming back to the camera, so this uh, uh, device also comes with a dual camera setup uh, and uh, in this video we will talk about how good the camera experience is and also we will show you some samples we have taken with this device. So similar to other smartphones released uh, in uh, 2018, this device also comes with AI camera and uh, let's first have a look at the hardware offered by this camera uh, before going to the camera samples. So looking at the hardware, the primary camera on the rear panel is a, a dual camera setup. It has a, a 12 megapixel uh, primary camera with f-stop uh, 1.9 aperture and 1.4 micron large pixel size. And uh, there is a secondary 5 megapixel camera for depth sensing again with f-stop 2.0 aperture. It also comes with dual pixel autofocus and there is also EIS support included for the rear camera. Now there is AI mode included for the rear camera as well. Now coming to the front camera, this device comes with a 20 megapixel shooter, uh, it has uh, AI portrait mode and uh, it also can record videos in 1080p resolution. So that's the camera hardware of the POCO F1. Now coming to the camera interface, you can see that this is quite similar interface we have seen on other Xiaomi smartphones. We have the video mode, portrait, square and there is also AI HDR mode at the top and uh, we have other uh, modes included you can see that uh, there is a uh, video recording which is at 4k resolution at 30 fps and there is also slow motion resolution support uh, on this camera so that's the camera interface of the poco f1 so now let's go straight into the camera samples taken with this device let's have a look at the samples taken with the poco f1 first step the daylight captures looking at the daylight captures they come really good in terms of the clarity the colors are good and offer good details as well the sharpness levels in the photos is also impressive and does a pretty good job overall. There is also AI mode available which when turned on has automatic scene detection and here you could see slightly saturated colors but still acceptable and doesn't oversaturate like the Huawei's AI mode. The dynamic range is also very good on the phone and it also comes with auto HDR mode which is probably the best option to go with. So overall in daylight conditions the photos have come very good and does a great job overall. Next let's have a look at the close-up images. Here again you could see excellent details in the photos and sharpness levels are good. And also the images have vibrant colors. But here again at times the images do tend to look saturated. The focusing speed is also great. Overall it does a good job in close-up images as well and the details are really good. Now moving on to the low light images. This is one area where the POCO F1 was slightly disappointing. While there is decent amount of details in low light captures, there is also considerable amount of noise in the low light captures. When you turn on the auto HDR mode, you can see aggressive noise reduction but it also leads to soft images. So it is better to capture low light uh, photos with HDR mode turned off. Also we notice there is a slight shake of the phone while capturing resulted in blurry images. So the low light performance of the device is average at its best. Next let's have a look at the portrait samples. The dual camera does a good job and they have come out well. Xiaomi's edge detection algorithm is good and here again you could, uh, you could see that it does a really good job. While it may not be perfect, it is still good for the segment. The video recording on this device is available at 1080p resolution and 4K resolution. While there is EIS support for 1080p, 4K lacks it. The AI's quality looks pretty good and stabilizes the video very well. But the colors in the video look slightly saturated. The sharpness levels are quite okay and the phone also comes with slow motion video recording. Finally the selfie experience. The 20 megapixel f2.0 camera on the POCO F1 takes good selfies. The skin tones are also quite good and most people will love the selfie experience on the POCO F1. The overall colors in the selfie also looks good and the dynamic range is also great. The edge detection in the portrait selfies is very good and this is more or less accurate in most of the cases. The 
The LoLed selfie performance is also good and the screen flash does a decent job altogether. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with the POCO F1 It is a 20 megapixel shooter which is capable of recording videos in 1080p resolution and you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the front facing camera on the POCO F1. So summing up, how good is the camera on the POCO F1? The POCO F1 does a good job in the camera department in daylight conditions and selfies with good quality photos in this price segment. But it falls short in the low light segment, especially when a phone is priced uh, at 2899 for the top end variant. And this is also the segment where the Zenfone 5C has a great camera. So if you're not really into low light photography, then the POCO F1's camera won't disappoint. So that's all guys with uh, the camera review of the POCO F1. We'll also be comparing the camera with other smartphones in this price segment. So stay tuned. So this is Nirmal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.